I'm a Muslim. Okay, that's fine. God loves every person, you know? God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever would believe on Him. That's anybody, that's you, that's me, doesn't matter. You know why it's important? I looked on the internet yesterday, 166,000 people died yesterday. In one it. day? In one day. And listen, wow. all through 2023, 60 million. That's an average day all through. You know, look, the reason I tell you that, not to be dramatic, but we have no control over that, right? We don't. We got no idea when they're going to pass from this earth. But what we can control, Jesus Christ said something in John chapter 3, verse 3. And when I read it, it knocked my socks off. What did he say? But I got them back. Oh, now listen. Oh, I, yeah, listen, that's my crappy joke. But anyway, look, this is what this is what he said, right? This is a serious one. He said, unless you're born again of my spirit, you cannot enter heaven. When I saw that, I said to myself, I'm going to get this 100% right. Yeah. I have everything to gain, nothing to lose by believing in what he said. Even if I have a different religion, you can still believe in Jesus Christ. Yeah. You can still believe what he did. Like lots of Muslim guys, you, you'll see on that channel, it's about eight or ten videos where I'm having long discussions with Muslim people yeah. about Jesus. And, pe and Muslim people giving their heart to Christ, okay? They, they, they see what it means and it costs you nothing, but it gets you everything. Okay, here we go. All stand before God one day. Every one of us. The Bible says, He opens the books on your life. Every thought, every word, every deed, everything you've ever done. Listen to this one. All the stuff you might want to tell anyone about. He sees it all. Nothing's hidden from Him. He says, over here is heaven. No sin in heaven. Not a bit. Looks at your life. If He sees any sin on your life, you don't get a pass. Jesus Christ came to this earth and fixed that once and for all. He took the sin from your life put on himself beautiful gift if I gave you that whole building and you gave me a dollar wouldn't be a free gift right you would have no. bought it for a dollar yeah. this this is what Jesus did free gift cannot buy it cannot earn it only receive it so here he is he stands at the door of your life today took all the sin off your life gave you his righteousness this is the one people miss what he gave you was no sin righteousness of Christ on you when God looks at you now if you're born of his spirit he sees the righteousness of Christ, he sees no sin. No sin on you, no sin in heaven. You get a pass. It's so easy, all right? So, yeah. it's like, you, you don't, you're not looked at for your sins. You're not? You're not looked at for your sins by, by God. Oh, yeah. No, what it means is Jesus Christ paid the penalty for your sin. Doesn't mean we don't, ah. we don't sin any longer. It's so like, then, yeah. what about sinning after Jesus Christ okay. took First, let's settle this bit, and this bit here, right? You're in the court, this is an example, right? You've got all these speeding fines, hundreds of dollars of speeding fines. Speeding yeah, well look, there's hundreds of them. They've got your name all over them. The judge says, yep, got your name on them, you're guilty. Somebody comes in and pays them for you. I'd love that person. I know, and you know what the judge says? I can see you're guilty, I know you're guilty, even though you're guilty, somebody's paid the penalty for you, you can go free. Now listen, that's what Jesus did. We didn't deserve, he, you know, he didn't deserve it. We deserved it. He paid the penalty. He was the, the last lamb of God who took away the sin of the world. Okay, so here it is. About sinning after, if you are the righteousness of God, it's a one-time event. If we prayed today, which if you want to, we can, listen, he will do this in your life. He'll cause you to be born of his spirit. And when God looks at you, he sees the righteousness of God. Very important. Okay, here I am standing before God, holy and without blame, born of his spirit. I go out and I sin. I do something, right? Now, the re I feel in my heart that I'm, I've displeased God. I come back to God and I say, God, you've made me the righteousness of Jesus Christ. And he says, yes, that's true. That's a one-time event, but you've sinned. And he says, I am faithful to cleanse you of all unrighteousness. You come back to that status and you maintain that status. And that's it. And then he gives you the power to go out and not do it again by his Holy Spirit. Okay. So here it is, standing at the door of your life and he's knocking today, right now. This is your invitation. And he says, if anyone hears my voice, opens the door, I'll come in, I'll wash away your sin, I'll give you my righteousness, and you'll be safe in his hand. Nothing to lose, everything to gain. Pray with me. Let's ask him into your heart. Nothing to lose. Come on, come on let's do it. You bow your head, you say, Heavenly Father. Just say, Heavenly Father. I ask Jesus into my life. Yeah? Yeah. I ask Jesus ask into, my Jesus life. into my life. Come in. Come in. Wash, away my sin. wash away my sin. Give me, Give me. All, your all your righteousness. 
I believe you died for me. What if I'm not ready? Well, don't do it. Don't do it. No, don't walk away. But don't. I'm here. I can't, please. No, no. Well, you don't. Don't feel pressure though. This is not an arm twister. Yeah. You know what? God has what they call divine appointments. You know what? I got off the bus this morning a half an hour ago. Listen to this one. Seven guys got saved. I got it all on there. Seven guys gave this their This morning. This morning when I got off the bus. I got off the bus. I had the sign. That sign. Right. And the, and they came up and they said, "What's all that about?" That's two of them over there.